Welcome to another useful video. Today we're covering the front bumper removal of the 2014 through 2018 Subaru Forester. Hey useful videos family, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new buyer's guide or repair guide. Thank you so much and enjoy this video. Start by opening the hood and looking at the top edge of the grill and you'll notice that there's six plastic rivet pop tabs that need to be popped open and then removed. These tabs pop open very easily and I didn't have to use a tool to open most of them. In fact, this bumper is held on completely by these plastic rivets and I just want to make sure that you guys get a good understanding of where they're all located so I've made this little diagram. All of the purple dots there indicate where a pop rivet is that you need to pop open and then remove to be able to remove the bumper completely. As you can see in the video, I'm pointing to all of the pop rivets that are on top of the grill area and they're all pretty easy to get to and locate once you've opened the hood. They pop open really easily, so what I did is popped all of them open and then completely removed them. I found that some of the pop rivets were harder to remove from their location than others. However, if they are giving you any trouble, you should be able to use a screwdriver or pair of pliers to remove them completely. This is an up close look at the pop rivets to give you an idea of how they're designed. They have four open areas that you can use a screwdriver to pop them open with. That pop noise will be a good indication that they've been opened up correctly and then you can just go ahead and remove them. This is the bird's eye view of me removing the rivets. There's also going to be one located inside the wheel liner. So when you look inside the wheel liner, it's kind of up and on that corner, and then you can just pop it out and remove it. There's also going to be some pop rivets on the bottom of the bumper, and here I am pointing to them. These are also easy to remove, just like the ones on top. Essentially, it's the same pop rivet, so you just open it up and then completely remove it. On the bottom of the bumper, there's a total of eight rivets. And here I am showing you where they're all located. Essentially, the vehicle is very symmetric, so if you start on one side of the vehicle, the pop tabs are going to be pretty much exactly where the other ones are. Not too difficult to do, and here I am just removing them real quick. Kind of gives you an idea of where they're located. Uh, the nice thing about the Subaru Forester is that it's high enough where you don't need to jack up the vehicle to remove any of these. And then once you have all of these pop rivets removed from these locations, you can start to remove the bumper completely. I do recommend that you get a helper when you're ready to remove the bumper. It isn't heavy, but it's pretty big, and you don't want the bumper to fall down on the ground and damage the paint. I did this alone, but I do recommend getting a helper. To remove the front bumper, after all the rivets have been removed, it's held into place by plastic clips that attach basically underneath the headlight and on the side of the fender where the bumper and the front fender meet each other. So my recommendation is to grab that side, give it a good hard yank, and it'll start to come out. Keep in mind that these pop tabs on the bumper are still a little bit fragile, so I would take it slow with steady pressure to remove them completely. Once these are removed, the bumper will essentially fall off just like you see right there. Now, when I walk over to the other side to remove it, once I remove all of the plastic tabs on the bumper, the bumper kind of rushes out. And once it's completely removed, be mindful that you might have fog lights or other electrical components that have a connector that you need to remove before you can completely remove the bumper. This Forester is the 2.5 premium model with fog lights, so they did have a fog light connector that I had to remove on each side to be able to completely remove the bumper. That's it family, that's all it takes to remove the front bumper on a 2014 through 2018 Subaru Forester. All plastic tab rivets, no special tools needed. Thank you so much for watching, please hit that like and subscribe button, take care of yourselves, and we'll see you for the next video.